Namaste, my beautiful beings of light. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette and I am a high priestess. I am a psychic. I am an ancient, 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 ancient. B C E. I was I'm reincarnated at this time to help the collective raise their consciousness, also help the planet. And there's other works that I have to do on this, on my spiritual journey at this time. I come from Egyptian royalty bloodline, I am. And um, I am also a galactic being alien I am an alien um, I don't care who don't believe me and who does the government knows who I am they know exactly who I am they follow me every single day of my life every single second of my life so they know exactly who I am so I am also intuitive I am a healer I am an empath, I am a light worker. I am connected to the most high. I receive messages from the most high. My father, the creator of everything. I am connected to my divine father, Ra. And I wanna say thank you to my father. I wanna say thank you to all this, my team my angelic team, my archangels, my galactic family, my ascended masters. I love you all and I thank you all. My mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, my nephew, my twin brother, I love you all. I found out some news about me recently. I won't divide, I won't I'm not going to disclose it at this time because it's very, it's very shocking. <laughs> it's very shocking. It will be very shocking for my family as well. So I'll just keep it until I am ready to reveal it. But there are things that I am not able to reveal because... At this time, I'm not guided to, so I respect. I am also here to deliver messages that many may not hear because of the work that I'm doing for the Most High. I bring out people's secrets. I get visions of people's secrets. I am called to watch certain shows, movies, on YouTube, on Netflix, um, in the sky, people that I walk outside and I connect, I see many things within their bodies, within their soul. And I know exactly who these people are. It's a very dangerous world out there, people. Many in the higher systems are not revealing to you the whole entire truth. That's why you have to be very discerning. That's why you have to go within. That's why you always have to connect to your father. To receive the messages whether these messages are true or not that's why they don't want you learning about <clears throat> certain uh, divination tools <laughs> see I'm a psychic so I work with cards I work with tar not the tarot um, oracle cards I work with energy I see and feel energy I am a seer 
I see everything. I have been healing myself, people. I have been healing myself from a lot of spiritual attacks that I've been going through. Does it hurt me? No, it doesn't hurt me because I'm highly, highly protected. But I, my God has told me that I needed to rest and take, take time out to go within and always receive the messages. I don't know, I think I've been gone for about a month off of uh, YouTube, three weeks, I don't know. But um, I don't know who's calling me. I don't, I don't, I don't speak to nobody. So this may be my stalker who has been trying to kill me. Yes, people. He's been trying to kill me, him, the government, some toxic karmic woman. I don't know these people. To be honest, I don't know these people. All I know is the ex. I know he is into the dark arts. I know he has killed other people, other women. I know he has attached his energies, his sexual energies to other women. I am called to speak on this. I am called to reveal what he has done to me. I see him in my dreams. Not recently, but I seen them hiding, hiding, <laughs> hiding. It's just so funny because he's, he's um, a demon. He's a real demon and I'm just going to tell the collective that I've been getting messages about also the apocalypse. Start saving your canned goods, your foods. Start putting away things that money from, put stash money in your house where nobody knows that you're stashing this money. Nobody. Do not tell your friends. Do not tell your family. Do not tell you if you don't trust your lover. If you are in a karmic relationship and you guys have no, are not, you're always fighting. This relationship is not healthy. You need to get out. This relationship is not for your highest good. Relationships that are, <clears throat> that are always fighting. You need to question your relationship. You need to question whether this relationship is they lifting you. Are they lifting you up? Are you coming home and every and the whole family is happy? Or are there issues going on in your home? These are things that we need to be aware of. Hold on one second. I was called to do research on studies that have been done on humanity and the studies that I've gotten sorry hold on one second I'm sorry this is called the 10 outrageous conducted the 10 outrageous experiments conducted on humans, okay? The first one is called the Tuscany syphilis. Syphilis was a major public health problem in the 1920s and in the 1928s by Julius Ro Rosalind Wald funds a charity organization launched a public health care project for blacks in American rural South, South 
sounds right, sounds good, right? It was the Great Depression rocked the U.S. in 1929, and the project lost its funding. Changes were made to the program instead of treating health problems in underserviced areas. In 1932, poor black men living in Malkin, Mackin County, Alabama, were instead enrolled in programs to treat what they were told was their bad blood. A term that at the time was used to reference to everything from anemia to fatigue to syphilis. They were given free medical care as well as foods and other amenities such as bureau ins uh, burial insurance. Why would they give? Because they knew they was going to die. For participating in the study. But they didn't know it was all a sham. The men in the studies were told that they were recruited for a program because they were actually suffering from sexually transmitted diseases, syphilis, nor were they told they were taking part in a government experiment study, studying untreated syphilis, the Tuscany studies of untreated syphilis in the Negro male. That's right, untreated. Despite thinking they were receiving medical care, subjects were never actually properly treated for the disease. This went on even after penicillin hit the scenes and became the go-to treatment for infections in 1945. They're trying to stop my video, but I'm going to keep going. And a rapid treatment center were established in 1947. Despite concerns raised about the ethics of Tuscany syphilis studies as early as 1936, the study didn't actually end until 1972, after the media reported on the multiple decade experiment and there, and there was subsequent public outrage. The Nazi medical, number nine, is the Nazi medical experiment. During World War II, the Nazi performed medical experiments on adults and children imprisoned in Dachau. I don't know how to say that country. The concentration camps. The account of abuse multilate multi mutilation, starvation, and torture reads like a grisly, complete compilations, comp why I can't read, compilations of the nine circles of hell. Oh, prisoners of these death camps were subject to heinous crimes under the, the guise of the military advancement, medical and pharmaceutical advancement, and the ra radical, and the, and the racial and population ad advancement. Jews were subject to experiment and in intending to benefit the military, including hypothermia. Studies where, where prisoners were immersed in ice water in efforts to ascertain how long a downed pilot could survive in a similar condition. Some victims were only allowed were only allowed seawater, a study of how long how long pilots could survive at sea. These subjects were not surprisingly died of hydration. Victims were also exposed to high altitude and decompression chambers. Often followed the brain dissections of living to study altitude, sickness, and how pilots could be affected by atmosphere pressure changes. Effectively treating war, war injuries also a concern for the Nazis and pharmaceutical testing went on in these camps. Victims were infected with wounds that were intentionally infected. Infections and poisonings were did also studied on human subjects. Tuberculosis was, sub, was injected into prisoners in effort to better understand how to immunize against the, the infection. Experiments with poison to determine how fast subject would die were also agenda. I've been poisoned plenty of times while living under these 
this 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 hotel plenty of times i've been poisoned here because they put poison in my food this is what the government does when you are an elect one when you are a chosen chosen one you are studied you are being studied they use mind control the next one is the monster study the i'm sorry the watson the watson little albert study experiment on babies on babies, the 1920 Watsons, along with the graduate students of Ros Rosalie Rayner, conducted an emotional conditioning experiment on a nine-month-old nine baby, whom they nicknamed Albert B. at John Hopkins University, in an effort to prove their theory that were that were their theory that were all born in blank state and can be shaped. These people take control of people's minds at a very young age. That's why they have these, uh, these, these chambers underground. The child's mother, a wet nurse who worked at a hospital, was paid $1 for allowing her son to take part. $1, okay? The Little Albert experiment went like this. Researchers first introduced the baby to a small furry rat, white rat. On each, he initially had no fear. According to the reports, he didn't really show much interest at all. Then they reintroduced him to the rat while a loud sound rang. Over and over, Albert was exposed to the rat and the rattling noise until he became frightened. Fear is being placed on the collective. From very young, started noise until he became frightened. Any time he saw any small furry animal rats, for sure, but also dogs and monkeys, regardless of the noise. Who exactly Albert was remained unknown until 2010, when his identity was revealed to be Douglas Merritt. Merritt it turns out wasn't wasn't a healthy subject he showed signs of behavioral and neurological impairment never learned to walk or talk and only lived at lived to the age of six dying from hydro clip i don't know this is water from the brain he also suffered bacterial meningitis infection he may have acquired accidentally during treatment for his hydro so I don't know how to say this oh my god it's H Y D R O C E P H A L U S or as some theorize may have been horrifying intentionally infected as part of another experiment in the merit in the end merit was never deconditioned and because he died at a such a such young age no one knows if he could continue to fear small fairy things post experiment number seven study was this the monster study 1939 today we understand that suffering has many causes many possible causes it may run in some families an inherited genetic quirk of the language center of the brain it may also occur because of the brain injuries including strokes or other trauma some young children some young children stutter when they are learning to talk but others outgrow the problem in some rare instances it may be a side effect of emotional trauma but you know what it's caused by criticism this is learned behavior this is what they're doing in 1939 Mary Tudor a graduate student at the University of Iowa and her faculty advisor speech expert expert Wendell Johnson set out to prove stuttering could be taught through negative reinforcement negative talk and they they trying to do something to my to my uh, camera that is learned behavior over four months 22 orphans 
children were told they were they would be receiving speech therapy but in reality they became subjects to stuttering experiments only about half were actually stutters and none believed none received speech therapy during the experiment the children were split into four groups half of the stutters were given negative feedback where's the positive reinforcement they're giving negative they're not giving positive the other half stutters were giving positive feedback okay we got the other half half of the the non stutter groups were all told they were being beginning to stutter and were criticized the other half of non stutterers were praised I don't know I don't get it I don't get the experiment I don't get it the only significant impact of the experiment has has on the third group these kids despite never acting actually developing a stutter began to change their behavior so once you're in a group and you are not a stutterer you become a stutterer because of negative reinforcements of what they're teaching you this is this is the brain the thinking the the people who are you exposing your children who you are exposing your yourself to who are you believing and adopting the self-conscious behavior associated with stutterers and those who did, did stutter and didn't see doing so regardless of the feedback they received the sixth was the Stateville Penitentiary Millen Millennial Study. I'm just going to read half. I'm going to read the whole thing because there's 10 of them. It is estimated that between 60 to 65 percent of American soldiers stationed in South Pacific during the World War II study suffered from a ma mala ma malarial infection at some point during their service. The government, once again, the government. For some eunuchs, the infection proved to be more deadly than the enemy forces were. So finding an effective treatment was a high priority. Army Heritage Center Foundation, safe anti-malarial drugs were seen as essential to winning the war. No, it wasn't. During, beginning in 1944, the spreading over the course of two years more than 400 prisoners from stateville penitentiary in illinois were subject to experiments aimed at effective drug effective drug against malaria it's so funny because god has been showing me states he's been showing me california he's been showing me illinois he's been showing me orlando florida he's been showing me um Texas. He's been showing me. That's another. Well, you know, New York. We have. He's been showing me certain states, and there are certain reasons why he's showing me these states because there are certain issues that are going on in these states that is affecting this being that's being revealed. The experiments didn't have hidden agendas. It it okay. Prisons were taken in the experiments. Were, effect, were infected with the, malaria, with the malaria and then treated with experiments, anti-malarial treatments. The experiment didn't have a hidden agenda and it was unethical. Mythology, mythology didn't seem to bother the American public because of the awakening. People were not awakened to what was exactly happening to the to, to people, the experiments that was going on, everybody who's sleeping, who were united in winning the war to eat, to bring the troops home and safely. The intent of the experiment was hit, wasn't hidden from the subjects who were at the time praised for their patronism and in many instances giving shorter prison sentence in return for their participation. So they used prisoners, infected them with infection sent them out to war the adversion 
project in South Africa. This is number five, people. If you were living during the uh, apartheid era in South Africa, you lived under state regulated racial segregation. It was, a, it was, it, if that isn't, if that itself wasn't difficult enough, the state was controlled, also controlled just sexuality. The South African government upheld strict anti-homosexual laws. If you were gay, you were considered a violent, and your homosexuality was considered a disease that could be treated. Even after homosexuality ceased to be considered a mental illness and aversions of therapy as a way to be cured, debunked, psychiatrists and Amy medical professionals in South Africa defense force continue to believe the outdated theories and treatments. In particularly particular aversion therapy techniques were used on prisoners of South Africans who were subject to join military under conscription. Con Description laws of the time at war 22 at one military hospital I can't not pronounce this for nothing in the world war trek hot I don't know between 1969 and 1987 attempts were made to cure perceived deviants homosexual Gay men and lesbians were drugged and subject to electroconvulsive behavior therapy while shown adversion stimuli same-sex erotic photos, followed by erotic photos of the opposite sex after electric shocks were electric shocks when the technique didn't work and it was absolute and it absolutely didn't. Victims were then treated with hormone therapy which in some cases included chemical castration. In addition, an estimated 900 men and women also went, underwent gender reassignment surgery when subsequent efforts to reorientate them failed, most without consent and some unfinished, lot, un, no consent. People didn't give consent to this, but they, they took their parts away. Make it make sense. Number four was the Mil Milgram shock experiment. And this Ghostbuster Peter Beckham, Beckman, who is seen as a fictional film conducting ESP electroshock experiments on college students, was likely inspired by social psychologist Stanley. Milgram's famous series of shock experiments conducted in the 1960s. During Milgram's experiment, teachers, American recruits for Yale studies they thought was about memory and learning were told to read list of words to learners, actors, although the teachers didn't know that. Each person in the teacher role was instructed to press a lever that would deliver a shock to the learner each time he made a mistake on a word matching quizzes. Teachers believed the voltage of shocks increased with each mistake and ranged from 15 to 450 possible volts. Roughly two thirds of the teachers shocked learners to the highest voltage continuing to deliver jolts at the instructions of the experimenter. In reality, this wasn't an, wasn't an experiment about memory and learning. Rather, it was how obedient we are to authority. No shocks were actually given. Today, Milgram shock experiment continue to be controversial. While they were criticized for their lack, and they were given these shocks were given. So everything that is that is being the people read or write or whatever, it's not true. But you have to be discerning of the energies that you do receive and be careful with what people tell you. This is this is the one that I've been under, okay? The CIA mind control experiment, okay? 
this is what is going on in my life at this moment because I follow the subjects that are going around with their their phones, their Google Maps, and following me all over, stalkers, all over, experiments without my consent. If you are familiar with the men who stare at goats or the Montreal candidates, then you know that there is a period in the CIA history when they perform when they perform convert mind control experiments. If you thought it was fiction, it wasn't. During the war, war during the Cold War, the CIA started researching ways to they could turn Americans into CIA control super agents. Well, I am a super agent because I am powerful with the with God, and this doesn't work on me. So they're doing testing on beings who are of the light, light workers, spiritually connected, psychic beings who are connected, not the fake prophets, not the fake ones, the real ones. controls uh, people who carry out assassinations and who wouldn't be affected by enemy interrogations. Under what was known as the Mo MK Ultra Project CIA researchers experiment on unexpected Americans and Canadian citizens by sipping, slipping them psych psychedelic drugs. They try to poison me. They try to put things in my drinks. Don't work including LSD, PCP, and barbiturates. They gave me that during when I was in my depression mode, when I was going when I was going through my traumas, when they were following me around, killing my family, doing things that was not for the highest good of me to try to make me feel like I was not under I was not in control because I was speaking about what was going on in the world. And what was going to be exposed about all the things that there that that is happening right now with our food, with our water, with our children, with our with the systems, the medical, the baby's milk. And barbiturates as well, and additionally illegal methods such as hypnosis and possible chemical, biological, and rate the cameras in my room, who that is act, very active and radioactive. The, the helicopters that have been following me. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs estimates 7,000 soldiers were involved in the research without their consent. The project endured for more than 20 years during the agency spent 20 million. There is more. There was one death tied to the project. Although more was sub, 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 suspected, since 1973, the CIA destroyed the records, and they still doing it, and they still doing it, and they have under under underground bunks with children, women, animals being experimented on. Number two, no, okay, is the U.S. biological warfare was banned by the Geneva Protocol 1925 by Japan, by Japan. Rejected the ban. In germ warfare was effective enough to ban. It must work, military leaders believe. Unit 731, a secret unit in this secret facility, publicly known as the Epidemic Prevention and Water Supply Unit was established in Japanese controlled Marchia, I don't know, where by the mid 1930s Japan began experimenting the pathologic, pathogenic and chemical <coughs> warfare. And testing of human subjects. The military physicians and officers intentionally expose victims to infection and disease. I have chemicals in my room. I spit out blood. I spit out black. Black. The chemicals that they put in the air 
and the I don't want no air conditioner here because what they're gonna do is they're gonna pollute my room with more more uh, chemicals they spray things on the rugs when I'm not here they have poison to put poison in my lotions in my shampoos they have you put it in my essential oils okay I lost a lot of money because I throw all these items away because they have been doing these testing trying to get rid of me in any shape or form that they are able to do it and make it look like that I have committed suicide which it doesn't work on me because I am very protected The military physicians and officers intentionally expose victims to infections, diseases, including anthrax. The spraying in the sky. There's a lot of people around here walking around with diseases that is made by the government. Their skins is falling off, okay? There's a lot of witchcraft that these people have been doing to the collective so that way they be blinded and not connected to who they truly are and to serve them and not serve God. In addition to working with pathogens, Unit 73 conduct experiments on people including but certainly not limited to disinfections and by by, by, by sections on living humans without anesthesia. The experiment believe using it will screw the results of the... We are all experimenting, experimenting on people. Wake up, okay? Know the medicines that you're taking is not real medicines. They are. You are able to heal yourself. You just have to connect to the Father and believe and have faith and let go of things that are not for your highest good. Let go of these foods that are not good for you. Many of the subjects were Chinese civ civ civilians and prisoners of war, but also included Russians and American victims, among others. Basically, also, basically anyone who wasn't Japanese was a potential target. Today, it is estimated that 100,000 people were victims in the facility. But when you include the germ warfare field experiments, such as the reports of Japanese planes dropping plagues, infection fleas over Chinese villages, and poisoning wells, and cholera, the death toll climbs to an estimated closer than 250,000, maybe more. Believe it or not, after World War II, the U.S. granted immunity to those involved in this war crime committed at Unit 73, 731, as part of an information exchange agreement. And until the 1980s, the Japanese government refused to admit any of this happened. The last one is the human vivection, I don't know how to say that but I'll just put it there if you can see it I don't know if they'll blurt it out but it's V-I-V-I-S-E-C-I-O-N 